This is a video of the famous Monty Hall problem, and I'm going to be using a tree diagram to help explain it. You've probably heard of Monty Hall. He hosted a game show called Let's Make a Deal that started way back in the 60s. Monty would tell me there's a car behind one of the doors and ask me to pick a door. I pick a door, and then just to make things interesting, Monty opens one of the other two doors and reveals a goat. Now he asks me if I want to switch my first choice. So the question is, should I switch? And the answer is absolutely. My chances are improved dramatically if I switch. And this is counterintuitive to everyone, no matter how smart you are. It seems like the car is equally likely to be behind either of the two doors that Monty didn't show me. But if I switch, my odds are improved, and this can be shown to be true with the tree diagram. So, let's start the tree diagram. And by the way, I got the idea for this tree diagram from cutthenot.org. The car can be behind any door with equal probability, so the probability it's behind door A is one-third, behind door B, one-third, and behind door C, one-third. Now I choose a door. I'm showing the goats as white and the cars as magenta. I can choose any door with equal probability, so at this point there are nine total possible outcomes, and each of these outcomes has a probability of one-ninth. Now, if I have a strategy that I'm going to stick with my first pick no matter what happens next, then my chances of winning the car are 3 out of 9, or 1 third. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to switch every time. The next thing to happen is Monty is going to open one of the two doors I didn't pick. Now, let's consider only the cases where I choose a goat with my first pick. If I pick a goat, Monty has only one door he can show me. He can't show me the car, so he has to show me the other goat. So there is a 100% certainty which door will be open next. For example, the car is behind door A. I choose the goat behind door B. Then Monty has no choice but to show me the goat behind door C. And there are six scenarios just like this. Now let's fill in the cases where I picked the car. Now Monty has two goats he can show me. And he can show me either one with equal probability. For example, the car is behind door A, I choose door A, then Monty can show me either door B with probability one half or door C with probability one half. The final step is I'm going to switch to the door that Monty didn't show me. All of these switches have a probability of one because I decided in advance that my strategy was to always switch. An example of a switch is the car is behind door A, I choose door A. Monty shows me door B, and I switch to C, the door that Monty didn't show me. Unfortunately, I switch from the car to the goat in this case. So in the bottom row, we can see that the winners are in magenta and the losers are in white. Now let's compute the probabilities of winning and losing. Each losing path has a probability of one-third times one-third times one-half times one, which equals one-eighteenth. Since there are six losing paths, the total probability of losing is 6 times 1 18th, which equals 1 third. Each winning path has a probability of 1 third times 1 third times 1 times 1, which equals 1 ninth. Since there are six winning paths, the total probability of winning is 6 times 1 ninth, which equals 2 thirds. So by switching, we improve the probability of winning from 1 third to 2 thirds, which is quite dramatic. I like this tree diagram because you can see all the possible outcomes in one snapshot. But we can also use it to extract some simple logic. For example, in each of the winning paths, let's look at the door that was chosen first. In each case, it was a goat. So if I was lucky enough to choose a goat first, then my fate was sealed. I was guaranteed to win. If I picked a goat, then Monty had to show me the other goat, and then I would switch to the car. So the probability of winning is simply the probability that my first pick is a goat. And obviously that probability is two-thirds. And the probability of losing is simply the probability that my first pick is a car. And that probability is one-third.